Hello everyone, my name is Ali and in this video we'll be talking about selective sweep and genetic draft. In this channel we'll be talking about biology in basically any aspect that you might imagine and if you like this video or any of the videos that are present on this channel feel free to like and subscribe down below. Now in this video we're going to be first of all talking about selective sweep and then making our way into genetic draft because this is a, that is another very interesting topic. However, uh, uh, we have to understand that many uh, of the selective sweep, uh, selective sweep phenomenons that happen, they are going to be occurring very rapidly and uh, this is going to be depending upon the strength of the selection and the effective population size. Now I'd like to stop and pause here just for a moment to explain what I mean by strength of the selection. Now for example that if, if something uh, along the lines of a very harsh winter just uh, came to a region or, or a desert the, and the organisms that are present there are not usually um, they are not very able they're not capable of surviving these winters what is happening is that there's going to be very hard natural selection at that particular location for the organisms that have better genes by better i mean have the genes that are make them capable of surviving these harsh conditions this is what i mean by the strength of the selection in these cases, it's extreme. You either die or you survive and adapt. So this is what we mean by strength. And the effective population size was mentioned in a previous video. I'll, link, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Now, selective sweep in definition, it is going to be it is uh, the process by which a favorable mutation becomes fixed. So just like we mentioned before, if a mutation is going to be, for example, allowing or facilitating or helping an organism survive harsh conditions, then it is going to be definitely favored in selection. And this is going to be indicated in the, uh, in the image that is present on screen at the moment. Now, before selection, we we're going to be having one particular allele that is very important or mutation that caused an allele to be rather important. And after selection, we're going to be having multiple or the most of the population, most of the organisms in a population are going to be having this red, uh, this uh, mutation or allele that is present in red. Now, we're going to be continuing to talk about uh, this in the next slide. Now, some neuter alleles might hitchhike with the favorable locus, and this is because they are tightly linked to them. That is why, if you refer back to the previous image, we saw one, uh, the, the red allele that is present in abundance in most of these organisms, and the uh, alleles that are present to its left and to its right are rather common because of this uh, issue. Now, it is also present on the, uh, by the image that is present on screen at the moment, but we will get to it. Now, this is why the DNA region around the favorable alleles are often overrepresented in the population, even though they, they might not actually be important. They might simply be like neutral uh, mutations. However, due to their relative location in the locus, they're going to be uh, overrepresented because they are going to be tightly linked to the uh, favorable alleles. Now, hitchhiking in definition, however, uh, by the way, another name is the genetic draft. It is the process by which an allele may increase in frequency by being linked to a gene that is favorably selected. Now, let's actually refer to the image that is present on screen at the moment, which is before the sweep, we see the presence of, well, different genes that are present in different locations. However, after the sweep or after selection, we're going to be having, we're going to be notably seeing the blue gene that is present in abundance, and we're going to be seeing the yellow and the green genes to its left and right, respectively. These are going to also be present in abundance. Now, these particular genes referring to the yellow and the green might not be necessarily good or favorable. However, they might simply be neutral. However, they were simply... Uh, they are simply present due to the relative location to the favorably selected gene. 